As one of the three Indigenous peoples in Canada, Métis people have a distinct and historic connection to the land. We have maintained this strong relationship with the land by continuously harvesting and having a presence on it, even under pressure from external factors. This relationship has been maintained and even expanded upon both thanks to, as well as in the face of changing technologies and realities for harvesters. So Métis people have always been quick to adapt to new technology, especially harvesters, because we spend so much time out on the land and we don't just use things for practical reasons, there's also artistic reasons too. During history, we're known as the flower beaded people for our wonderful, oh, colorful and detailed beadworks that would be on clothing, gauntlets, bags, any garments really that we could and uh, is very symbolic even to the stay of our culture. Yeah, and those gators are really just to help out with when we're walking through heavy brush and if we're going through a muskeg or anything like that where there'll be moisture, just to help keep your legs a little drier as well as keep your pants in good condition. So fur harvesters, sun protection's a major concern in the summertime just because we're spending a lot of time out in the sun in the environment. So UV protection is really important, especially for fisher people, because when our citizens are out harvesting on the water, you're gonna be out in the sun on the boat all day long sometimes. So you really have to stay safe. One of the best ways to do that is to either use sunscreen like you're doing, or to just cover up with some of this new technology we have, like these sleeves that are made out of a light material and they're breathable, but they're gonna provide some sun protection for my arms. Whereas historically, Métis people would have had to use, you know, cotton loose fitting shirts that weren't as light and as breathable and good for when we're on the water. And then there's always important to have some hats or other forms of headwear. So this is a cuckoo scarf. They've resulted as a trade with the Ukrainian settlers who would have come here. You can actually notice that there are a lot of beadwork patterns based off of the motifs on these scarves, but traditionally they were a form of sunblock and sun protection, and they would just be worn like this at the back of the head. So last thing we'll put on is just some bug spray and some bug net just to keep the mosquitoes away. So I didn't have any luck in the early season hunting. So now we're gonna do some late season hunting when it's gonna be a lot cooler out. So now we really have to focus on staying warm and make sure we have a lot of appropriate layers on. So I've got my coat, you've got your snow pants. I also have something called a base layer. So mine is right here. It goes underneath my shirt it's actually made of wool. Métis people really used it traditionally, both in blanket forms as well as capos, which is a kind of coat we wore. But we're not gonna wear that now. And actually, we're not gonna wear a sash when we're out harvesting right now. I can see this one. The reason is you see these colors, especially the red, white, and blue on there. Certain animals, like a turkey, has that kind of coloring on its head. And what happens is if we wear a sash around our hip level, that's right about turkey's head level. And if we're in the brush and someone can't see clearly, they might see those colors and they might mistakenly shoot trying to harvest that animal. So we need to make sure that we've got things like our hunter orange on and we're wearing appropriate clothing so that we're really as safe as possible, both from the elements, but also from other harvesters and hunters. Okay, hey Max, so let's get ready to go. It's a bit colder now. We're gonna put on our warm gear. And I'm just putting on a bit more of a traditional uh, Métis outfit today, whereas you've got your modern clothes. You know what this coat's called, Max? It's a capot. 
And obviously my coat's quite a bit different than yours. Yeah. What do you kind of notice the differences between our? I think mine has less of a design, so yours might be a bit more cultural or from your heritage. And uh, the insulation and the materials are different. Yeah, for sure. They're quite different, right? Mine's got a pattern because it's made from a wool blanket, right? So this is called a capot. It's a real traditional Métis coat. And what would happen is a seamstress, an artisan would take a wool blanket and actually hand stitch it and turn it into a coat just like this. And they're really good and really warm because you've got that insulating property of the wool, kind of like you said. Um, but it's also quite hydrophobic, so it helps keep water out. Whereas your coat is a very modern coat. It's got the insulation kind of on the inside of, see that like outer layer, that outer shell? Yeah, and then that is really to help keep it hydrophobic and keep all the water kind of out so that the insulation that you've got in your coat doesn't absorb it. And same thing kind of goes with our hats, our mitts, they're all kind of working on the same properties. We just had different ways traditionally to stay warm. We had access to different materials, things like leather. But the whole point of all of our clothing is to stay as warm as possible. And oftentimes staying warm also means staying dry. Right? 